show. Uh, Tom Schwartz from Vanderpump Woo! Rules. John Owen Lowe. Unstable is on Netflix now. How many episodes are there? Eight episodes. All dropped. All out, binge it, it's very easy to watch. They're short, they're sweet, they're funny. My dad is an idiot, and uh, <laughs> my childhood trauma goes to waste if you don't watch it. So. There you go. Uh, by the bar, Avery Singer and Jolie Lauren. <coughs> Batch Boss is the company. It's a bespoke travel and event planning for elevated bachelor and bachelorette parties. They also do divorce parties, birthday parties, the whole name. All the things. You have for me something? Yes. gifts. Oh, nice. Logo. Oh, some, 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 some merch. Yeah. Thank Ooh, you. My God, look. Yeah, you too. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, Avery. Thank you. You know, Avery, I have a very special spot in my heart for you because I feel like you you can yeah. go back behind the bar. I, I, no, I just, because the lighting's good there. I want her no, to be yeah, in her good lighting. Thank you, I need to um, the No, but too. I feel like you, you know, you, you grew up on the show. You really, for Roni, I feel like you were, for many years, the voice of reason yeah. on the show. And I, you, I always love seeing you on the show and I appreciate everything you brought to it. And I hope that it wound up being a positive experience for you. Yeah, I think that everyone asked me what it was like growing up on reality TV. And it's important to remember when we started, I mean, you know, Andy, there was no Real Housewives franchise. There was no Instagram. And it's been a whirlwind. And I've always tried to be my own person on my own path. And I think I really stuck with it. Yes, you And did. I worked in finance, went to UVA, worked in tech. And I had this idea that we found like there was really a missing market. And I was like, why not capitalize what I have and finally use it in 14 years? So I'm really, it, it gave back to me, it's given to my family, and I'm really happy to be here. Very good. Um, <coughs> well, the current season of Vanderpump Rules is on fire, but John Owen's here to advocate for a little resurrection from the past. It's time to bring back that Vanderpumpers! Okay, John Owen, you have 15 seconds to make the case for one former Pump Rules personality who you'd like to see back in the mix. Who's it gonna be? Jax. Okay, why? Um, um, because he was the king when he was on of Scandal, and there's never been someone more well-versed to come back and speak on what is going on currently and maybe compete for the title. All right, thank you very much. Um, well said. Okay, let's go back to the fans. Sonia from San Antonio has a question for Tom. Hi, Sonia. Hey, Andy. Hi. Hi, big fan. Tom, what was your reaction to Jack saying that Sandoval has cheated on Ariana multiple times over the years, and do you believe it? See, I only knew about the one, okay. the, the one. Um, yeah, believe it or not, Tom, me and Tom, you know, we're separate people. We don't tell each other everything. But um, I was, I was surprised. I got to be honest, because. In light of everything that's happened, I know it's hard for people to see, but I'm telling you, in the beginning of that relationship, it was special. It gave me, it gave a lot of people. Beginning hope. of which relationship? Ariana and Tom. Yes. Okay. It was beautiful, it was and, and it was so romantic. And like, my God, it's like if Tom and Ariana can't make it, I don't, I don't think anyone can on Vanderpump Rules. I don't know. So no one can make it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Casey from Dallas, what's your question for John Owen? Hey, Andy, I hope you feel better. Thanks. <laughs> John Owen, which of your parents' famous friends were you least phased by when they came around when you were younger, and who were you totally starstruck by? Good question. Oh, yeah, that is a good question. Um, I, oof, man. Um, honestly, it's not about who they are, but when you grow up around them, you don't understand how famous they are, I think, so mm. maybe... Um, you know, Gwyneth Paltrow is my godmother, and so there was a moment where I was like, oh, wow, she is an incredibly talented, successful, famous person. Yeah. Um, but uh, for me, I geeked out over sports people, so, like, when Peyton Manning came up to my dad and, and they got along, I, like, almost passed out. Wow. <laughs> um, by the way, what did you think of Raquel uh, sending that message to Katie that she couldn't use the preferred pool? <sighs> it was a little sassy. I mean, oh God, this gets complicated. Um, Say what's on your heart, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think it was, I think she was right. I mean, it was Sheena's moment. 
this is like her, you know, once in a lifetime moment. And Katie being there was obviously going to distract, compromise that magical moment. And um, I think out of the out of the nice niceness of her heart, she should have chose to use the non preferred pool. <laughs> Katie, um, she she feels that you never advocate for her, and this is another situation of you not advocating for her. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was a political <laughs> answer, man. Go, oh, go try and try, go. Um, I, I do add, here's the thing. Early on in our relationship, she abused that a little bit. Okay. She was like always getting in tiffs. And she's like, you're either with me or against me. Okay. She demanded unconditional loyalty. Early on, she's put a lot of work into herself and she's way better now. Katie, love you. But in the beginning, she was kind of a monster. Okay. She was a monster. She was. She had. She's had a falling out with every single person in her life multiple times, and I, I just. I don't know. I didn't like getting dragged into all that, and I guess I became a little numb when she actually did need me. It's like the boy who cried wolf. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah, that's um, not bad. Did Wait, you, was did that... you have anything else? I, I guess just. Do you want to? Monster is the word. Monster. Did I say monster? Well, yeah. Multiple times. Oh no 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 angel angel. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, we're gonna leave it there. Um, and <laughs> the season's over, Ugh, right? Andy. Yeah. I'm still recovering from the reunion. How, yeah. you, how you holding up? Well, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that, I'm okay. No, 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 that was, that was. Palpable, you could feel it. No, that was, no, it was, yes. Um, yes. very high stakes situation and I guess I just, yeah. Sad. I will admit that uh, there was a moment where I debated camping outside of the <laughs> studio where the reunion was going to be. <coughs> to yeah. What demeanor you all were in. But, it, was, um, um, it was the first time we've had paparazzi at a Vanderpump Rules mm, reunion. Mm, um, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was pretty intense. Where, do you think Raquel and Tom mm. will make it as a couple? Mm. I've actually thought about this a lot. I'm oh. sure. I think it'll be a miracle if they make it. I think, oh man, they, their relationship is, you know, they, I know they care so much about each other, but like even in the short time that they've been in love or whatever you want to call it, it's become toxic. And I just, I don't know if it's sustainable, you know, it's just, it's already toxic as it is. And then you add in, you know, the entire nation thinking you guys are scumbags. Um, it's just, I think it's too much, but we'll see if love prevails. We'll see. Are you surprised? <laughs> Are you surprised? <laughs> You're so funny because <laughs> you, awesome. you, well, I'm going to give you some, I'm going to give Help you me. some tips after the show. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, but are you surprised by I, I know the answer to this, but are you surprised by how much attention this is getting? And <sighs> Yeah, like we were talking about before, like I can appreciate it on some level. Like it, 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 it's taken on a narrative, like it's, it has a whole new life in the internet. You know, there's yeah. conspiracy theories and I can, I can appreciate schadenfreude. Like, you know, to some extent, the memes are hilarious. I saw one the other day, it was like, Tom Sandoval is Dracula, Raquel is one of his brides and I'm Renfield. Right, right. <laughs> Am I Renfield? What? I'm Renfield? No, I'm not Renfield. Okay. Um, How are the triplets? They're doing okay. okay. Um, they're not thriving lately. Okay. Because they have the purest hearts on the planet. Yeah. And um, I have the utmost confidence that they are going to be successful. They're just in a rut right now. Yeah. We've all been in ruts before, you know. Yeah. Um, but everyone's stable. My dad's stable. He's living independently after almost losing him off and on for like seven months. Wow. I just hung out with my mom in the valley for three days. Like, my heart's full right now. Yeah. Um, super grateful. By the way, I've really um, fallen in love with your former mother-in-law this season. Yes. And she comes back again Terry? later in the season. She's incredible. Terry, I love you if you're watching this. She knows I love her. I, that's, well, we don't have to get into that, but I just- No, get, get into it. I, well, I what miss, is it? What I is I miss that? hanging out with Terry and, her, and Katie's brothers. I love them like family and- you know, I don't get this. Are you me. still in contact with them? Sometimes, yeah. Um, I love Terry with all my heart. She's such a, <laughs> she's such a good mom. We have a great relationship, but out of respect for the divorce, and you know, there has to be some boundaries. And I'm trying to stay with. Everybody on the show does very well with boundaries. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
All right, uh, I'm gonna leave it there. I wanna thank Tom, I wanna thank John Owen, I wanna thank Batch Boss. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.